Hello. So recently, me and a few other people decided to form a dungeon team. And this wasn't going to be any old dungeon team. We weren't going for the world record. We weren't going for the perfect S+. Plus. We weren't even going for good times. Instead, this was going to be the worst dungeon team ever. And we were going for the lowest score possible. Anyway, today, I'm going to present you with the resulting mess. Our first attempt wasn't very successful. It started off with all five of us selecting the healer class, which would let us automatically revive ourselves when we died. Our main goal was open blood, then to go fail as many puzzles as possible before repetitively dying. This was because failing puzzles and dying would lower the skill score. Since every death revokes two score, and every time we fail a puzzle, 14 score is revoked. After dying 101 times, it started to become boring. So we decided to mess around. But this didn't go that well. We started fishing in the fairy pond, but after a while, we decided to go to the water puzzle to try fish inside the puzzle. After trying to glitch around the water puzzle, I eventually got kicked from the dungeon, but sadly, I couldn't rejoin. Luckily, one of my teammates screen shared, so I got to see the end of the run. At the end of the run, there are only three people left, who entered the boss at one hour since we were trying to get the speed score down to zero which required the dungeon to end after 65 and a half minutes. Though the boss wasn't cleared fast enough. Due to low DPS, no archer, and a long crush, the run was forcefully ended at 1 hour and 13 minutes. This run resulted with a score of 32, which is 6 less than we would have gotten if we completed the whole run. And after this horrific fail, we devised a new strategy. I'm just going to quickly sum this up. Pretty much, we decided to get an archer to deal more damage in the boss room. The clear was very similar to the first attempt, so I'm not really going to include it. But in the boss room, it was a lot faster due to us having an archer and five players alive. This last two phase Necron in phase two and it finished the run before the timer ran out. The run ended with a D43 score but I knew we could do better in exploration by getting a better blood rush. So on the third attempt, we followed the same strategy, but the thing is, livid in blood TP'd into the void, which was super, super unlucky, which meant we had to restart the whole run. Anyway, now I'm going to go on to the fourth attempt. The fourth attempt was by far the most unlucky attempt. Everything was going as planned until phase four. This is when Necrons destroyed everyone with their frenzy, meaning that we failed the run in phase 4, which pretty much just puts an hour and 10 minutes down the drain, ending the run with a score of 25, which would have been 35 if we managed to complete the entire run. The fifth attempt was our most successful attempt. We got an 8 out of 36 blood rush. This basically means we completed 8 out of the 35 total rooms in the map. This equates to 10 out of the 36 rooms when we get into boss and blood is done, which is equal to 16 exploration score at the end of the run. This is the lowest possible exploration you can actually get to. After we had made our way to blood, we died 50 times in total to get the skill score down to zero. This is since each death provides minus two score. After dying a lot, we entered the blood room one hour in, as otherwise we could fail the run for taking too long, as the run times out about 73 minutes. And after a decent boss, we managed to finish the run at one hour and six minutes for D36 score. This resulted in the lowest possible score. When analyzing the score, I can see that the only area we got scoring is skill and exploration. Both of these couldn't have been improved unless we abused some bugs, which probably aren't allowed. Skill gave 20 skill due to completing the run, which just automatically gives 20 skill. And exploration gave 16 score due to how much we had to clear for blood room. We could have cleared less, but that would be using probably not allowed bloods. And for speed, we got zero because we took over an hour and six minutes to complete the run, which is an insane amount of time. And for crypts, 
Well, for bonus, we got zero because we didn't blow up any crypts, nor did we get a mimic. And also, we didn't get any secrets at all. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. 30k soon. And goodbye.